I really enjoyed turkey and I'm going to show you how to cook the perfect Christmas turkey. So first of all we need to talk about the perfect turkey and simply better have the heritage bronze free range fresh Irish rare turkey. It's from Hogan's Farm in Kells and it's board be a quality assured. So this is a five kilo bird that I have here. I've had the pleasure of going up to Kells to meet the Hogan family and they're fantastic. And actually my parents used to buy turkeys off them. So they've been doing it for absolutely generations and they're just fantastic farmers, absolutely wonderful. So a few little tips for you when you're roasting the turkey is to bring it to room temperature. So take it out of the fridge about half an hour before you roast it. And you're gonna give it 20 minutes per pound in the oven plus 20 minutes. So this five kilo bird will take about just under four hours to cook, but I'll talk you through all that in a moment. So room temperature. Now we're going to um, make a lovely flavored butter and it's a citrus butter. I'm gonna show you this in a moment, which is absolutely fantastic. And I suppose the best tip I can give you is treat the turkey like a big chicken. It just takes longer to cook. We want it succulent, we want it tender, we want it full of flavor, and that's what you want because it's a really lean meat, so it is. Uh, I am going to do a little trivet for you and this is my V-Rack roaster that I have the turkey sitting on which I'll explain in a moment. So just around uh, the tray we're going to put in some red onion, a little bit of celery. So red onion just cut into chunks and then we ha also have some carrots and one of my favourite herbs and this is going to flavour your gravy. So I'm literally going to arrange that around the tray. So just your celery, a couple of sticks of celery. You can use leeks, you can use celeric. You know, if you can get nice root vegetables, and I love red onion, because it's lovely and sweet. So it works really, really well, uh, especially for your gravy. It's gonna, it's gonna flavor it so much. Okay, next are carrots. So you see I've cut everything roughly. Okay, nice big chunks of the actual carrot. And then some fresh thyme. So I'm actually leaving the little thyme hole, kind of put the little sprigs like that just around. I'll just break that one up a little bit. And there we go. So that's gonna be, you could use that as a trivia, but this is the V-Rack roaster that I'm gonna show you. So what you do, everyone, just with the V-Rack, you just sit that on there and it sits like that. It's as easy as that. So we're gonna show you this lovely butter. Now, in I actually never stuff the turkey, to be honest with you. Some people do. If you're gonna stuff it, you can do the neck part here. Just remove the flap, put in the stuffing. It's gonna take a little bit longer to cook through. Uh, I'm gonna put some orange into the cavity and I'm gonna put some fresh thyme and that's it. You can put onion and garlic, whatever you want to. Okay, let's talk about the butter. So we're using some nice Irish butter. You know me and the butter. We're gonna put a couple of cloves of garlic and we're gonna use the garlic crusher for this. Fresh thyme, I may as well do that first. So prick, pick uh, the fresh uh, thyme just the little kind of sprigs. You've seen me doing that, I hope, many times. I love this. So just, it's a lovely little plant and it works really well with your roast potatoes in your gravy. Honestly, it's one of my favorite herbs. Rosemary would work okay, but I think thyme is nicer. I think it's a more delicate flavor. Okay, we're gonna put in some orange zest. So we're gonna grate some orange. So lots of orange zest. And actually this butter can be made, you know, a couple of days ahead if you want. So you can make it ahead. So you see, people kind of overcomplicate Christmas. For me, it's very much about tradition, you know, and keeping the turkey really, really succulent and moist, and maybe not having a huge amount of starters, just keeping it very, very simple. Because for me, the turkey and the ham, especially the turkey from Hogan's Farm, the Simply Better one I'm using, it's, it's just so flavorsome, it's so delicious. You want to enjoy that. So I've just removed the rind of that, and then I'm gonna cut the orange just into nice big kind of wedges or halves, it doesn't really matter. And then this is gonna go into the center of the cavity. Just pack that in there. And you can put onion in there and you can put garlic in there, loads of different things. I'll come back to that in a moment. We're gonna put a couple of cloves of garlic. Garlic will give lovely flavor. So I've just peeled the garlic and I'm just gonna literally use my garlic crusher and rock it over and back. And then just using my uh, knife, scrape that down. Now how easy is that to prepare your garlic? Next thing we're going to add in some chopped parsley. I'm using some flat leaf, or you can use if you want to, uh, some curly parsley. So lots of that. And then you mix this through. Now if you wanted to spice up the turkey, you could put in some harissa sp spice into it. You could put Cajun spice or curry spice. So I just want you to just have a little look at this butter. Butter at room temperature, really important, so it's nice and soft. And give it a nice mix there. So that can be made ahead and that will keep, and that's even lovely over some roast chicken. So if you want to, you can get some really, really nice roast chicken. Now, just before I put the butter on, we're gonna get some thyme. And we're gonna literally put some thyme into the cavity of the bird. 
So that's going to go in there. You can use rosemary again, as I said, it's some garlic. It works really, really well. When I put the butter on, which I'm going to do now, we're going to put some of the streaky bacon. I love this. We love this just for breakfast. It's really good with pancakes and really gorgeous. So it's the whiskey smoked Irish bacon. So it is. It's a streaky one. So you're getting the lovely flavor from it. And there's a few ways that you can put the butter in the turkey. I just used a pastry brush, which makes it easier. So just kind of paint it on. But the key is to have this at room temperature. That's a really important tip because you want to relax the turkey and just have it nice and moist and succulent. So you're gonna just brush this all over. So this is what I'll be doing. Christmas morning, getting the turkey ready, have the butter done, have the stuffing made, you know, have the ham just um, cooked, but just ready to be glazed. And then you just brush this all over. So plenty of butter, you know me and the butter. You can never have enough. Now to keep it really, really moist, at the bottom of the tray we have our lovely vegetables. That's gonna flavor the gravy and it's gonna give really nice flavor coming through onto the turkey, but we're going to pour a little bit of water or you can use stock, I'm just gonna use water. So remember, uh, I used orange in this, you could use some lovely lemon if you wanted to, and the garlic will give so much flavor. Now you could tuck this under the skin, there's a little bit more work in that, to be absolutely honest with you. The key when you're roasting this is to baste it, and what basting means is just to spoon on those lovely juices every 40 minutes. Have your oven preheated, so I have it preheated at 190. Okay, and every oven is different. So remember, if the turkey's brown a little bit too much, reduce the heat. You know, you can recover it with tin foil, but I'll go through all that in a moment. Now, next thing we have is our nice streaky bacon. So we're just gonna literally over put this on the actual breast of the turkey. So this is the smoky bacon I'm using for this. And it's a great idea. I'm gonna show you when it's cooked now. Um, People sometimes ask me, you know, but it'll get in the sprouts if you're stir fry onion and garlic, you can put in some of the into it so you have no waste. Water, I'll do the water first. So lots of water, and this is gonna work for the gravy. So a couple of glasses of water is perfect in there. We're gonna put some salt, just lots of lovely sea salt. We're gonna put some black pepper all over this. And then we cover the turkey. So this is the V-Rack roaster. So it makes it easier to lift the turkey in and out and the turkey isn't sitting actually in the juices. But you do need to uh, spoon the juices over it and that's what we call basting. So I'm gonna cover this, okay. Just get my tin foil. And you just want to kind of cover it right all around the turkey. Have your oven preheated. And what I would do is, so this bird, you give it 20 minutes per pound plus 20 minutes. So the turkey I'm gonna show you now took nearly just over three and a half, it was nearly three hours, 45 minutes. Every 40 minutes, I used to use the timer, you can use your mobile phone, because you could forget, spoon over the juices. And what that means is that you need to spoon over these juices. And with the V-Rack Roaster, just, it's just a wee bit tricky to get in there. So what I did, obviously with oven gloves, uh, I poured out some of the juices onto a little dish and poured that over there. So you need to do that, you know, at least four or five times, because you want to keep it really succulent. No need to turn the turkey. Uh, for the last hour, you need to take off the tin foil. That's so important. So you can reduce the temperature if you think it's brown a little bit. I already um, have the oven uh, preheated at 190, so that's really, really important. And then your turkey goes into that. So it's as easy as that. So I'll just literally pop this in now. And then I'm gonna show you the one I've cooked already. And the rest of the turkey, so when your turkey is cooked, and I'm gonna show you how you check when it's cooked, because a lot of people get nervous, so you wanna make sure that it's cooked through. But, uh, and you do want to make sure that it's cooked through. So just with the turkey that I've here, this has been resting now for the last half an hour. I'm actually gonna show you what that basting means. So just with the little dish here, you ready for it? Here we go. Uh, oh, when you're resting it, you have to cover it with um, tin foil to keep it warm. You don't want it going cold. So that's really, really important for a good 30 to 40 minutes. So what basting is, is just a little bit of this here. This is the lovely um, water and that lovely kind of gravy juices. You spoon, I find the easiest way is just with it. You can do a jug. So this is still warm, pour it over. 
and that'll keep it really succulent and moist. And then how you test when it's cooked. I left a little skewer here, or you could use the point of the knife that I prepared for the garlic. So you need to go into the thickest part. So I'll just move this here. I usually think the thickest part just in here by the breast. And you literally pierce that. And when the juices run clear, it's done. You could use a cocktail stick, but don't go prodding it too much. Just do it once. Let it rest. Drain off those lovely juices. And then I'm going to do another video showing you how to make the lovely turkey gravy using a simply better poultry gravy in this with a touch of Madeira. So that's the turkey ready. Bring it to the table, carve it. But for me, it's about using that beautiful simply better heritage bronze turkey from Hogan's Farm. They're just fantastic producers. So I want to wish you all a very happy and peaceful Christmas. Thank you all for all the support. I hope you've enjoyed the videos. I certainly have enjoyed uh, making them. And on behalf of myself and the Simply Better team, we want to wish you a very happy and peaceful Christmas and enjoy the turkey, the good food, but especially good, the good times with your family and friends. Okay, Merry Christmas.